Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Omoto, who's the system manager here at BMAC. Now, BMAC make an electric tricycle, and you can actually find these right now going around Intramuros and some other areas, even Barocco. So can you tell us a little bit about the vehicle? Um, yes. What type, what type of battery does it use? Because I believe it doesn't use lead acid, is that right? Uh, our battery, uh, we use uh, lithium-ion battery. Lithium-ion? Yes, uh, lithium-ion. And what's the size of that battery? Our battery uh, capacity is 4.4 uh, kilowatt hours. Okay, so that's pretty substantial for a vehicle of this size, right? Okay. And I guess that it doesn't take up as much space because it's lithium-ion, is that right? Yes. Um, if it was lead acid, of course, it would be heavier and it would be larger. Yes, uh, larger and heavier. And what's the range on this vehicle? How far can it go? Uh, it can ride uh, 60 kilometers. 60 kilometers? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And how long does it take to charge? Uh, it takes four hours to full charge. Four hours. So that's actually pretty quick. Yes. It can accommodate six passengers, in, uh, including drivers. Uh, okay. Excluding drivers. So six at the back and then one driver. Yes, six okay. passengers. Can you tell us about some projects that are going on right now with uh, this? Okay. Uh, uh, we have some sales results. Uh, uh, for example, in Manila, uh, city of Manila, uh, we uh, provided uh, 280 uh, units. Now we are cooperating uh, with uh, uh, JICA, uh, the Japanese government, and we are uh, uh, doing uh, some research uh, for the feasibility, 20 units uh, to Quezon, Quezon City and, okay. yes, to do some uh, research. Around the uh, memorial uh, uh, near uh, UP Diliman, the e tri that you have in Quezon City, how are they charging them right now? All of the units are charged in a charging station in Quezon City. Okay, so you have a special charging station. Yes, yes. And how much current does this require? I know it's 220 volts, but how about the amperage? How much does it require? Actually, our units requires uh, 20 ampere. 20 ampere, okay. Yes. So if you were to charge this at home, you'd need to make sure that your socket is capable of at least 20 ampere or higher. Yes. Most sockets are just say 10 ampere. Yes. But it, it's pretty easy to install a 20 ampere mm. socket. You yeah. just have to make sure that the breaker and the wire used is enough, right? Yes. Okay. Because I mean, an air conditioning unit, for example, is quite high amperage also. Mm. So 20 ampere. Okay, that's pretty okay. Yes. And that's why it charges so fast also. Yes, it's necessary to avoid charging problem. Okay, understood. Yeah. So that was Omoto. Thank you very much for answering our questions. Thanks. For anyone who has any other questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if I can answer them, I will. Otherwise, we can ask our friend here and hopefully he can help us out. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I'm sitting inside the trike now and I think I'd just take the opportunity to go through some of the stats with you. Just the most important ones. I'm not going to read off the whole thing. What I'll do is I'll make a copy of this and put it in the video description down below for anyone that wants to see it. So, of course, one of the most important things is the range because you don't want to have to be putting this thing on charge every five minutes. It has to have a good range. So the range on a full charge is around 60 kilometers. Now, of course, that might vary if you're going up hills where it's going to consume more power. And again, if you're on splatter roads, it's going to perform better. The maximum speed is 50 kilometers per hour. Now, that might not sound that fast, but remember, this is a tricycle. It's not meant to be racing around. They're primarily used for like A to B, A to B, very short distances, but regular short distances so you don't need a high speed. So like mentioned earlier, the weight of the vehicle is 530 kilograms. You can actually add 470 kilograms worth of passengers. So it's designed, you can see behind me hopefully. Uh, let me show you. So this is the space here, and this is designed for six passengers. So you have six passengers in the back, plus the driver in the front here, which is traditionally more than your average tricycle could hold, which is good because the more people you can fit in safely, of course, the more people you can fit in, the better. You're really maximizing the vehicle on the road. So if we take a look at the controls, you can see it's pretty simple. We've basically got a go pedal down there. We've got a brake up here, some indicators, horns, etc., lighting, and then your speedo in the middle here, which will also tell you your distance uh, or your capacity of the battery. So you can see right now it's fully charged. And I believe the altometer is just 3.1 kilometers. So perhaps this one has never left their demo floor. So where I was just sitting under here are where the batteries are. And hopefully we can lift this up and just take a quick look. So these are the lithium ion batteries. And of course, they don't take up as much space and they don't weigh as much as traditional lead acid batteries. And also they're gonna last much longer. If you know lead acid batteries, you know that over time you have to replace them. But this one is lithium ion, which is much more efficient. But of course the cost is higher to start with. And you can see the charger is actually built in. So all you've got is this plug here, which goes straight into the wall. All of the charger and the batteries are built in here. So really all you have to do is plug this into your standard wall socket. And even from empty, it's only gonna take four hours to fully recharge this and get another 60 kilometers of range. 
Now, of course, another important thing is braking. On the front here, we should have a disc brake. So you can see on the other side there, we've got the disc brake, which is important because, of course, you want to be able to stop. And then on the back, we've got drum brakes. So let's take a look at those. Now, of course, you can't see much here, but they are drum brakes on the back. So you've got a disc brake on the front and then drum brakes on the back and then leaf spring suspension. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it, but I think the motor is also there. Let's see if we can get a look. So if you look under there, you can see the AC induction motor and the AC motors are more efficient and that's why they're used now compared to the old DC motors. And you can also see all the wiring running along here. Now, from what I understand, this motor is watertight, so you don't have to worry about water. Although that doesn't necessarily mean that you should drive this whole thing through a flooded area. And another thing you might notice is that it's got quite a lot of headroom here. One of the things that you might remember if you've been to Barakai is that many of the tricycles actually have very low ceilings. I remember I took some friends there and when they got in they had to duck down like this. You can see me, I'm actually quite tall and I've still got enough clearance for my head. Sorry the lighting's not ideal but I've got enough clearance. And you could easily fit six people in here. So if you look, I'm taking out one seat and we've still got all of this space here. I think you could probably fit eight, but of course that would be over capacity, um, which would not only potentially be illegal depending on local rules, but it might also put too much strain on the motor. So six people in the back, one in the front is what's recommended. As for the roof itself, this is fiberglass, and then the bar that's supporting it is iron. And you can see there's also a little LED strip here which could give some light at night. It wouldn't give a huge amount of light, but you could always modify this if you wanted with extra lighting. Another thing you'll notice is that they've got the rain covers. These are pretty traditional for vehicles here. Um, of course, this being the Philippines, it doesn't rain that often. Well, at least not until rainy season. But these are here, so all you have to do is unclip them. They roll down and they'll keep you dry. So very simple, but it works and easy to fix or replace if anything ever happens in the future. And I'm sure some people want to know the length, etc. So let me zoom in so you can see the information on that. So you can see the maximum speed is 50 kilometers per hour. Mileage on a full charge is 60 kilometers. The length is 3,300 millimeters. Width 1,440 millimeters. Height is 1820 millimeters. And capacity is six plus one. Six in the back and then the driver at the front. So you can see there's already quite a lot of interest in the BMAC e-trikes. Like I said, these are actually on the road already. If you go to Intramuros, you can actually ride these right now. Uh, if you go to Boroka, you can ride them. So these are actually on the street right now. I know when we've spoken about electric vehicles before, some of them have been like coming soon or something like that. These are on the road and you can actually ride them right now. Now it's unfortunate that we're inside an exhibit hall because it'd be much better if we could actually drive around in this. So let me know in the comment section down below if you're actually interested in riding around in one of these because I can make another video. Maybe we can go to Intramoros and ride one of these around. Maybe we can even try and drive it ourselves, who knows? So I just finished inside now. They're actually about to do some kind of stage event, speech event, but I thought it won't be too interesting on camera. What would be more fun is if we go to Intramoros and actually try and ride one of the e-trikes. They've also got like these e jeepneys out here as a shuttle service, so that's pretty cool. You can see they're going to World Trade Center, MOA, Microtel, and I guess these run all day. So that's really cool. I like the fact that they're using e jeepneys for these and look silent because of course there's no like gasoline motor. So anyway, it's really bright out here. Let's go to Intramoros and try and ride one of the BMAC e-tricycles. So to get to Intramoros, we're gonna take an anchor. So you can see right now I'm on the motorbike. I don't know how good the audio is gonna be, but I figured I'd give it a try anyway. You can see there's many, many checkpoints around here because of the ASEAN conference, etc. 